In this short video, I'll show you what's required to assign an Azure Active Directory Administrator to a newly deployed SQL Managed Instance. Under the Settings pane, you'll notice the Active Directory Admin button. Click on that, and it will bring up a screen which says that the Managed Instance needs permissions to access Azure Active Directory. This can only happen if the person with the correct permissions is able to perform this operation. Click on the link, and you'll see that the person performing this operation needs to be either a company administrator or a global administrator in Azure AD. This is required to give the SQL MI instance read permissions to Azure AD to be able to select users and groups. Click on Grant Permissions to see what happens as a user who does not have correct permissions in Azure AD. You'll see an error message which states that there was a failure to update Azure AD read permissions for the SQL MI instance. Now I am logged into the Azure portal as a user who is a global administrator in Azure Active Directory. Click on Grant Permissions again to see what happens. You'll notice that the operation was successful and I can now set an administrator for the SQL MI. Click on the Set Admin button to assign the user or group as the SQL MI admin. Type in the name of the user or group when the list comes up, click on the user group, and then click on Select. One more step is required, and that you have to click the Save button for this change to take effect. It could take a few minutes for the Azure AD admin to be saved. Click on Save. Once the Azure Active Directory Administrator is set, you'll notice a green check mark appears. Now, members of this group or the user who's the administrator can assign additional Azure AD users to the SQL MI instance.